Let's solve question 34 now. So what do we have here? We have the demand for good X and it's represented by a function, right? We have the price that the consumers are willing to pay. Over here, we have the supply for good X. So we have the price that the producers, the sellers are willing to sell. And the government puts a tax on the producers of 15 euros per unit. Now the excess burden of this tax is 45 euros. Is that true or false? So what's the idea here? Because we have a tax, we'll have an inefficiency in the market. And we want to know how much the efficiency in the market will be distorted, will be hurt. And that is our excess burden, which is 1 over 2 times the tax times the change in the quantity of equilibrium in the market. So we have two cases here, one without the tax and the other one with tax. So under the first case, we will solve the equilibrium of the quantity in the market without the tax. So no tax. Now, we will make the price that the consumers are willing to pay equal to the price that the, cons the sellers are willing to sell, to sell. So 200 minus 3 quantity demanded of x, 200 minus 3 times q of x equals to 20 plus 2 times the quantity of x. 20 plus 2 times the quantity supplied of x. Let's take numbers on one side and the variable on the other side and solve. So we take 20 over here, 200 minus 20 is equal to 180, equals to 2 quantity of x plus 3 quantity of x, that's 5 quantity of x. So the quantity on the market in equilibrium in this case would be 180 divided by 5 and that would equal to, uh, that would equal to 36. So that would equal to 36, we found, we found one part of the question, now we have to solve we have to solve the other part where we have the quantity in equilibrium with the tax. Let's solve it over here below. So the quantity in equilibrium after the tax. And we know that the tax is 15 euros on the producers. In other words, the price that the producers, the sellers are willing to sell is going to go up by the tax because they have to compensate. They have to compensate for that tax. So we will have again the price of the consumer side, which stays the same, 200 minus 200 minus 3 times the quantity of x equals to equals to the price that the sellers are willing to sell plus the tax. So that's 20 plus 2x. So that's 20 plus 2, sorry, quantity of x, I meant to say, plus, plus the additional 15 euros of the tax, plus 15. Now let's solve the math over here. What do we get? 200, and here we have 20 plus 15. That's 35. 200 minus 35 is equal to 130. 65 165 and we take minus 3 quantity of x on the other side so we take this one over here so we have 2 quantity of x plus 3 quantity of x that's 5 quantity of x if we divide both sides by 5 then the quantity in equilibrium now the quantity of x in equilibrium now after the tax after the tax would be equal to 33 units so we see that we have less less quantity traded in the market because of this tax because the price is perceived too high by the consumers so we have a change in tax and the change in tax is three units right from 36 we went down to 33 so we have a change in the quantity in the market which is equal to three units our tax is equal to 15 euros so that the tax is equal to 15 euros so over here tax is 15 euros now with this in mind we can calculate our excess burden because the excess burden is equal to 1 over 2 times the tax times the change in the quantity. And what's that going to be? Well, let's see. The excess burden is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times the tax is 15 times 3. Okay, so 15 times 3, that's 45 divided by 2. So the excess burden is 45 divided by 2, which is 22.5. And the answer key tells us that the excess burden is 45 euros which is false and we are done.